He's ready. He's ready. ready. He's ready. ready, ready what are we ready, ready for? Um, so we're gonna play games. Oh, wow. this is a game. This is new and exciting. We never play games. Welcome to, welcome to, welcome to episode game of games with Steven Games. Welcome to Soldier's Quest. Soldier's Quest. What's our quest today, Chase? Our quest today is to get fucking good, dude. Oh wow! Just like every day. Ow, oh, I dived into it Each instead of away from gotta it. Get gooder. I thought I was gonna get good and then I dived in right into that firebomb. So I guess we didn't get good today. Excuse stay me? Stay tuned in the next tomorrow. I actually don't understand how I took fire damage from the fire that was inside of that wall. But in any case, welcome back to Steven Chase doing Dark Souls Remastered. Uh, episode that's what something. We're doing. I don't actually know what episode it is, but Oh sound. I don't like blow darts. To me, it reminded me more of like a some kind of enemy, like yelling or like not yelling, but like oh, it was this thing? Yeah, I was like, I kind of like the like a little bit of a, a little bit of a roar. In any case, um, we in off camera, off recording, we bought ourselves the repair box, weapon smith box, and armor smith box that we had been eyeing before for two thousand souls each. So now we can do these things from a bonfire, which means we can uh, do all these things. Uh, that, a, that a blacksmith could do for us, shy of ascending stuff, or like... Just convenience I don't think we sake. can. I don't think we can add, like, elemental damage or anything like that ourselves, but yeah. we can do everything else. Um, dumped a couple more uh, upgrades into the shield, one more into the bow, and now we've got a little bit of excess souls that I wanted to drop down and spend a little bit of. There happens to be a merchant right over here. Will we be... Uh, are we gonna blue skidoo today? We are going to blue skidoo. We're going to blue skidoo right into a painting today. So this is what I wanted a few of. Oh, yes. Oh, we can only buy three? Oh, I guess you can only have a total of five. All right. And then bottomless box allows inventory management at a bonfire. You can also buy a master key from this dude if you didn't start with one, which is interesting. Huh. Which is pretty cool. He also sells three crystal items. But, of course, we know crystal items, uh, once they break, they cannot be repaired and they have low durability, but they look fucking cool. They do look pretty sweet. And then he's got some uh, some armor and such, and he's, this is also the merchant who sells Smo's armor now that we've defeated Smo as, like, the final dude. Ah, uh, he's the one who picked it up. Yep, he's the one, so... Cheeky. I think we're going to go ahead and just buy this. It's only 1,000 souls. Cheeky. I got almost 7,000 souls, and honestly, I don't know how to get down from here safely. <laughs> uh, I've never, like, I... I safely I, meaning... Like, I've fallen onto that cliff right there below, and I've died before, so I think I'm just gonna put one of these. The other thing I wanted to buy was actually more Homeward Bones, that's fine. So we just need to find a merchant who sells Homeward Bones, and I know there are several. Off the top of my head, I don't know where any of them are, but it's okay, because we're actually gonna go uh, somewhere a little familiar right now before we move on to the painted world of Ariam, is we're going to go back into the Undead Berg. Because I was just telling Steve, there is a merchant there. That uh, we did not know existed when we first played Man, through. We're gonna bring back such good times, such good memories, such memories, Nostal nostalgia. So, there's a merchant who's a little bit hidden, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and pay him a visit, and see what he sells. I can't quite remember. Remember what? What he sells. Oh, okay. So we'll. Done up there. So, Mr. Ratty Boy, for good measure. Sorry. All those souls. All those souls. We also could. All that 24 souls. Actually, while we're while we're here, let's go talk to the undead female merchant. We can buy a uh, maybe a charcoal pine resin or two because we we don't have any more charcoal ones, and there are. We could treat ourselves to a dung pie. That's true. I think we already have a couple actually. What are you playing? So she has these poison throwing knives, dung pies, charcoal pine resin. Oh, there's only 500 each. Okay, for some reason I thought there were more. Transient and curses are the ones that were 4,000 each. That's what I was thinking of. Oh, from her. That's yeah. nutty. Go ahead and get five of those. I mean, it's convenient to get it oh, wait. here. We're allowed to have more than five charcoal pine resins. I guess the other merchant just ran out. All right, here we go. Homer bones. Boom. Okay, perfect. Check. 
Uh, we're gonna get one prism stone, path marker, drop and listen to check heights. I think that might help us in the four kings fight. Oh, fire arrow, poison arrow, standard large wooden. Hmm. All right, we got plenty of uh, standard arrows. I think we're good. Those. Nothing and fancy. All right. We'll take the remainder of our souls to the merchant I was just talking about in the undead berg. So, right. show Steb what I'm talking about. He's an interesting character, actually. Merchant I found out. Yeah, the merchant. I found out from the lore. What's his, what's his stick? His stick is that he's kind of like he seems like he's insane. First of all, I mean, surprise, surprise, Dark Souls. But like, he lives in a very dangerous area, or at least it would be dangerous for us. He's got like hollows all around. This to me the safe areas. Fuck. Okay. Aw, oh, you sneaky. D what am I targeting? What's <laughs> down there? <laughs> I must have been targeting a hollow through the floor. That guy, I guess. Oh. Down oh, there. Oh, hey. I want that. Can we get that? Get that. On it. Oh, yeah, right here. Boop, boop, boop. Largest level lost undead. Might as well. Over there, too. Sure. You can also see the ambush waiting for us, see? Sneaky. Like, we're, 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 we're can't waiting. that far down. That's fine. But you can't shoot. They ain't shoot. gonna kill us. You can't shoot from there. Another ambush. Ha, fooled oh, really? you. You didn't see us that coming. Was aggressive of you. Yeah, you didn't see us coming. Or you did, but you still let me hit you because you're dumb. Uh. Right. Hmm, hey there, bud. This seems all safe. Hey there, What's going to happen here? Oh my god. Why is that? Why did that guy come up? Oh the didn't. my there we go. god. There's two more. Where did these guys come from? This is an ambush. <laughs> Oh, oh no. this is unfair. How was I oh, to know? Oh no. Oh yeah, there's the rubbish. That's one of the things we get offered to Snuggly the Crow. Oh. Um, and then what's up here? See? Good old Snuggly. Dead another item down there. Hmm. Huh. Okay. But how do? Down down there. Uh Hollowy boy. Oh boy. Another item. We did this is like a testament to how bad we were at exploring when we first started. This is the first area of the game. <laughs> just kind of areas we knew we didn't have to go, and if we didn't what the fuck just happened? need to go, we sure as hell didn't. Whatever. This things barely do any damage anymore. All right, so this is where we just were. Where we tried not to. Uh, at the beginning, we went everywhere we shouldn't have. True, yeah. So we tried to avoid that. Also, I, I don't know if I mentioned it, on recording, but I was thinking we'd go to the catacombs soon, but we're actually not going to do that yet. Um, the lower New Londo ruins is actually going to be where we fight uh, another one of the keepers of the Lord Soul. So we're going to do that first, since we basically unlock access to it already. So we'll go ahead and uh, hang out with the ladies down under. Well, the boss fight is called the Four Kings, so I don't know about any ladies. <laughs> Oh, we gotta get there. Well, I guess we'll skip. Or do you mean the ghosts? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I missed. All right, I'm just gonna, you know, do one of these. All right, so we got, we got. That's we'll feed that to Framp later. So you see these boxes right here? They're just hiding this little stairwell, and we never noticed it. So that box is in my way somehow. Hey. The uh, mosey on down here. Just mosey. And there's the uh, there he is. That's the merchant. Although, what's up the other door? This. Conti oh, yeah. Continue on. Wait, what's here? what's further? Oh, right here. I was gonna say I knew there's somebody here. I heard him move. But you see this? You can actually see down to the lower on Deadburg, yeah. like the uh, where the thieves were. The yeah, dogs. yeah, yeah. I see. And then if you go through here. Hmm. I'm gonna get my bearings. Ladder towards what? Um. The ladder go to. You're going to find out. I honestly don't remember. I've only been down this Newly way explored once. Explore territory. The ledge there with the little door. I'm guessing you can't open it. Okay, so we got a little, little item, and, I, and actually Sam told me that if you jump the gap here in that building, there's a crossbow, but we've already got bows and crossbows and stuff, so... Is it, like, 
Pretty ballin'. I don't I don't think it's any different. Like this is the first area of the game. I'm pretty sure it's a regular crossbow. Okay. I don't so think so. Good really early game. It. Yeah, Action. it should be decent, but I mean our composite bow is going to win probably any day. Alright, so out we go. We're gonna say hi to the merchanty boy. Hey boy. Hello. Well now. Well, you seem well. to have your wits about you, hmm? Then you are a welcome customer. I trade for souls. Everything's for sale. <laughs> <laughs> It's actually quite nice here, you know. The hollows don't care for a skinny old twig like me. I've got you, Leah. And nobody pelts me with stones anymore. You're undead. Uh -huh. You know how it is. Uh -huh. So treated worse back at home. So that voice line indicates that outside of Lordron, the undead are seen as like despicable creatures because they're cursed with being undead right and so in the land of men or whatever they get pelted with stones for being undead pretty sad you can't help being undead uh we'll buy a few more fire bombs why not they're pretty cheap here um dried Ooh. finger should only be used with the greatest of caution online play item used to strengthen the connection to other worlds allowing the summoning of a third phantom okay mm -hmm. so we're not gonna use that these are the things that are on the floor that you write a message with Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, residence key, I don't think we need just because I was just looking through those things. Just because I think the master key performs the same function as the res residence key. And he's got some chain. That's it. So I think we're going to buy the east-west shield because according to the YouTube playthrough I've been watching, you can't get it anywhere else. So it's just cool to have. We'll go East, ahead and pick up the residence key West. just in case it opens residences that we don't have access to with the master key, although I don't know about that for sure. And then I think we're good to just kill him. So I think Aww. that's what we're going to do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, this guy's got a real sad backstory. We're going to murder him. <laughs> um, the reason I said that is because he says at the beginning, everything's for sale. However, he's lying to us. Not everything is for sale because he won't sell his weapon. But I want it. I want his uh, weapon. I hope you brought plenty <laughs> Yeah, my wares. Of course, they're stolen. And when you leave, I'll see you. I wonder if he'll talk about it. Treacherous indeed. A horrible goat demon has moved in below. And up above, there's that humongous drake and a bull demon too. So this is actually voice lines that let you know what to expect as a new player. It talks about the Taurus demon up above, the Capra demon down below, and the drake on the bridge. Oh, uh, this here. One. Her name is Yulia. She's plumb in love with me. You'd never leave my side now, would you, Yulia? So the guy whose videos I'm watching, his theory is that oh, Yulia is his going. weapon. Which we are going to him. Why Yulia's you mine. Little... Why? Why? You. No, no, no. I, I was just repeating what he was saying. I was like, uh, why me? There it is, the Uchigatana. Th slash and thrusting weapon. It's a katana. Mm-hmm. And I don't really plan on using it. I just wanted it. <laughs> Pretty cool. Uh, I just I'm a collector, so I just kill Fuck the guy. Your table. Put him out of his misery. I mean, this is Dark Souls. We kill for sport here. All right. In any case, that's the uh, merchant I wanted to pay a visit to. That was it. <laughs> and uh, then we shan't be visiting him again. Well, I mean, we could visit his where he was. <laughs> We oh, could, yeah. We could come but to pay our respects because we murdered him. We can F. Oh, and actually, while we're in the area, there's one more thing I can show you. Uh, I mean, I've been... This game... There's so much to do in this game. So much to it that... Good lord, I don't know how I would have found out if I hadn't hadn't been for people who already knew it. But, like with a lot of the other bosses, you can cut off the Drake's tail for a weapon. But we're gonna go do that. Hey. And, uh... Then we shall move on to the painted world of Ah, <gasps> Blue Skidoo. Find out the clues. Who's good clue we can do? Alright. Please no burn me. I mean, that's how these one person plays a lot, figures it out, shares that yeah, information. Yeah, it's just shared knowledge, right? so we have to... People who share it with him. us figure it out by somebody else. Yeah, exactly. We don't want to get caught in the fire, but if we bait him, he will jump down. And we are we sharing go. our knowledge on the... Okay, okay, I can't see. Oh, fuck. Nope, nope. 
That did not go to plan. Round two. You know, he's... Okay. Uh... Now he's pissed. Flying away. Let's go back out. Try to lure him down again. He did an immediate attack that kind of put his tail out of range, which was unfortunate. He knew is he back he around, did. or is he just gone? Damn it. I don't know. Spawn right, him this. back in, I guess. And you can see that the ground here is scorched, which is supposed to be your indication that there's a dragon coming. See? Right. Okay. Again, we were not observing folk when we first started this game. I mean, we came up from the stairs. It's not like we saw that immediately. Where's he at? Where you at, boy? Who that boy? Where that, that boy? boy? <laughs> yeah. All right, we'll go down and uh, rest of the bonfire again. Try to lure him up. We don't again. We don't need the weapon, but I did want to show how cool it is. We just do it for sport. I mean, we're not gonna kill him. We're just gonna make him live without a tail, which is fine. He doesn't need a tail to fly or anything. It's probably helps him, him balance a little bit. Just gonna make you know. him suffer. That's all. We'll make him suffer a bit. Just lifelong. But I mean, disability. you know how many times he murdered us? Yeah. Exactly. Exactly my point. But don't worry, guys. Proper progress coming up in the next episode. Apologize for this like little interlude of doing well, side stuff. will there be? I guess you'll just have to watch and find out. Please spawn the Drake. Please, can we spawn the Drake? Pretty please. Perhaps we cannot spawn the Drake. Like a certain point on the bridge, you spawn back. Pretty please with the cherry on top. If we might actually like have to save and quit. Make that happen. Mm. We'll try real quick, and if it doesn't work, we'll uh, we'll just move on. You got the god that one goddamn line from Blues Clues stuck in my head now. <laughs> it's playing on loop. Not uh, it's not pleasant. Oh, there it a is. A clue, a clue. There, oh, okay. <laughs> that did not hurt us barely at all. Did it, how did you phrase that? What? That did not hurt us barely at all. Oh, okay. What do you think I said? Uh, I, I don't know. I, just, I, sound, I thought I heard a couple more words in there that just like... Oh. It, it, a very roundabout <laughs> Get way off of me. it. All right, come on down there, bud. I would like to take your tail. I want it for my collection. I'm going to mount it on the wall or and be like, "Vamped." Okay, okay, here we go. I'm gonna put it on my wall and tell people it's a dragon's penis. Okay, there we go. Drake sword. Now we have to run away because he will. The dragon, dragon penis. Begin breathing sword. fire into this room. Penis sword. Yeah, I'll be like, this is get the dragon tail. Sell tickets, five dollars each to take a look at the dragon's dick. Look at this, yeah. So this is what happened to us that one time. Yeah, yeah. When he started bringing fire into the bonfire room. Almost killed us. Sure did. It was a very, very close call. All right, he's gone now. Well, we don't have that moment recorded. No, we, we don't. We we spoke it of such. All right, such so the Drake prior. sword is what we just picked up. Cool sword. I mean, after. Okay, very cool sword. Hmm. Does two hundred base damage, All but right. it doesn't scale at all with your uh, boosting of strength, so it doesn't get higher than that. Okay. Uh, or, or any stats. But it's a unique weapon, and it's got a special attack. Oh, yeah? Yeah, check this shit out. I'm gonna check this shit out. Guys, check this shit out. Uh, Is that cool? Uh, that's nice. However, uh, all weapons that are like this, that have a special attack, um, it drains their durability by a big chunk when you use oh, yeah. the special attacks, so you're gonna have to repair it very frequently if you use it all the time. Yeah, you gotta be careful. So, they're not actually super Use useful. Use a balance. Okay. Sorry for the delay. We're gonna head back to an Orlando. You know what? Get I, ready for I, the painted world. I, I'm not. We learned things. We okay, explored. Steve's not sorry. We explored? I'm sorry. Adventures that we had together. I am sorry. not sorry for the adventures like, uh, that we had together. Good cop, bad cop. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, guys. Steve's like, fuck you. You're choosing to watch this, you dumb dumb. <laughs> You're choosing to be here, whether we make you progress have given or not. Us your 19 minutes and 40 <laughs> something seconds. You made it all the way to the end of this video. Thank you for watching.
And if you didn't, you'll never hear these words anyway. So fuck you. We'll see you guys in the Unless next one. Unless you skip one. to this point, and then well, that would just be still... weird. Like, why would you want to see the outro but not what happened? <laughs> well, they're like, hey, where did they get to? Poop. <laughs> that would be a disappointing way to watch the series overall. <laughs> Like, how much progress did they make in this episode? No. Oh. <laughs> oh, no, no. None. A little. <laughs> None. Oh, a lot. None. Negative progress. None. They're back where they started. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> a lot. All right. A lot. None. We're going to go ahead and uh, prepare for the painted world, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Out. Bye.